Hello, Rice from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about Pattaya Bar Girls, the etiquette. Yes, there is an etiquette even with bar girls. Basically, I'm going to say right from the beginning of this video is that treat everybody with respect no matter who they are or what they do within Thailand. So be respectful. And there's a few things I'm going to say. Um, if you're being respectful towards the girls, you'll have a pleasant time. If you're not respectful towards the girls, then you could have a, a nightmare. So basically, if you've decided to pick a girl up from the bar and you have a good night, and then you just feel as if it didn't click, or you want to go and sample the other goods, one of the biggest tips is don't pick another girl from the same bar, because that's a severe loss of face to the girls that are in the bar. If you do that, that's, the other girls will, will mock the girl that you're with, saying, oh, you can't be any good, you, you know, you're rubbish, that's why you picked me. It's just not the right thing to do. Also, don't pick another girl in a bar that's very, very close to that one. Again, loss of face. But if you say right from the beginning that, listen, you're a butterfly and you just want to sample all the girls and then they know where you are right from the start, the fact that you are going to pick other girls, but let that be known right from the start and make sure that they understand that, that they're just for one or two nights whilst you're on holiday and, and then they know, then they understand. Because some of the girls will put all the heart and soul to be with you, especially if they like you, for as long as you are. So that the questions that they ask you is what's your name, where you're from, and how long you're here for. And what's your name, because obviously everybody needs to know your name. And if they keep calling your name, it makes you feel more important. And where you're from. So they find out which country you're from, because obviously every country has a different standard of living and different price ranges. And somebody from America might have more money to spend than somebody, say, from the UK. And they're not stupid and they know which ones are going to pay the most. And also, how long are you here for? If you're a newbie and you just arrived there and you're there for the first two or three days and you've got two weeks, then they'll give you a bit more attention because they hope to be with you for the full fortnight that you're here and they get the money for, off you for a full fortnight. But if you say, I'm on my last two or three days of my holiday, they know in two or three days you're gonna be gone. So they won't put as much effort in trying to be with you, trying to make you feel nice. So again, these are the things that they're gonna be asking you the questions. I've already mentioned about not going to the same bar, picking a girl from the same bar. If you do this type of thing, you're just going to ask for trouble. I'll give you one story. There's a guy that I know that was out with one of the cashiers in one of the bars. He was a little bit insensitive, the fact that because she didn't give him a good time where he thought he sh she should have been giving him for a good time, he dumped her the following day and then went to the bar next door and got another girl and flaunted this other girl right in front of this cashier, which obviously made her very upset and very angry. And he, he had a visit the following day by a couple of Thai guys who just happened to bump into him and give him a turning over, really, just punched him a few times. And, you know, so if you're going to play with fire, expect fire to come back towards you. So that, that's just exception to the rule. That doesn't usually happen, but this guy deserved it in my mind. He was a total pig towards the girl at the cashier. It doesn't matter if you've had a good experience or a bad experience. Treat the girls with the respect. Move on to something else. Don't harbour on jealousy or anger towards the, the girls that you maybe not had a good time with. Um, and another story about a guy that I know. It was his last night and we were in the scooter bar on Soy Bacow. Now, I love that bar because all the girls that go to the scooter bar are top class, beautiful. And the music's good as well because it's from my era, the 60s and 70s and 80s. It's a really good atmosphere. And Stan always had a bit of a shine to one of these girls that was in the bar and he thought, right, they are expensive, the girls in that bar, and they're not allowed to leave there until midnight um, if they get bar fined. So he thought, no, I'm going to have this girl. And he bar fined this girl. And she came and sat with him, he buying the drinks. <clears throat> and straight away, his hands were on her legs, wandering about, and she told him to stop it. And he said, no. He said, I bought you, I bought you for the evening, I can do whatever I want to do with you because I bought you. Well, again, she took exception to the rule, gave him his bar fine back and just left. And Stan wasn't a very happy man because he felt that because he'd bought her, he could have her for the rest of the night and he could do whatever he wanted to do as and when he wanted to do it. But no, 
that's just not the way to behave. He was that typical dirty old man who thought he could do whatever he wanted to do because in his mind he bought her and he could do whatever he wanted to do. Again, treat the girls with respect. There's a time, there's a place for, for playing around and sat in front of the bar, in front of all the other people, isn't the place. Also, don't be offended if a girl changes her mind and decides not to go with you for that night. Some of the girls in the bar are waiting for the customers that they think is going to come and pick them up as well. You may be declined by some of the girls in the bars because they're maybe waiting for a boyfriend that said they were going to meet you. Meet them maybe it's the night before and they're just hanging on until he comes. So don't be disappointed if, if you get turned out. There's thousands of girls in Patio once it's open running at a proper time. There are girls everywhere to be met, so I've seen two guys fighting over the same girl in one of the bars. Two friends who both like the same girl. Now, there's thousands and thousands of girls in Patia, so just get over it. You know, in the next bar, you might find something even more beautiful than the girl like you're seeing in that bar, so etiquette towards the girls. The girls know what they do. They know how they make the money. They don't need to be reminded about it. For, for instance, like if somebody gets angry with one of the bar girls for whatever reason, the man just says, you're just a bar girl, you're a prostitute. They know what you're trying to say and they know what you're saying. And it obviously upsets them. So again, accept it, suck it up, move away, go find something else. Don't take the mick out of the girls because if, if you do, you may find a knock at the door by a couple of Thai men. And I know of that happens sometimes as well. The taxi, taxi drivers look after the girls as well. If the girls have any problems, usually the taxi drivers will sort them problems out. If you have a bad experience with the girls, always pay them. No matter how bad it is, always pay them. Because if you don't pay them, they know where you are. They know who you look like. They know where you go drinking because they find out all of these questions and you'll get a visit by the Thai taxi men who will explain the errors of your way. So keep your nose clean, pay your bills, be responsible. Don't tell the girls the obvious things of what they're doing. Move on, suck it up and move elsewhere. Don't let the girls lose face. It better off you walk away embarrassed than making the girls to be embarrassed because it's more of a face thing with the girls here in Pat here than, than if you're here for two or three weeks, they're here for a long, long time. So they've seen everything that goes on in, in Pat here. You're just here for two weeks or three weeks. And so heed a few of these warnings that I've said and you'll have a good time. It's a fantastic place to be but show respect to anybody and everybody over here. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.